What's good y'all? It's your girl Daisy and today I want to do a little bit of a, a different video. I know I look so crazy. Y'all, I have no eyeliner on and I am it's cold as shit. You could tell by my nose. But I wanted to do this video because I've been thinking about doing like some talking videos for a while now. And so I was just thinking about the other day I was talking with one of my girlfriends and I was asking her, well, like, what is your type? Like, what is the type of guy that you're into? And I always hear women say, oh, like, I'm into the alpha male. Like, I want an alpha male. I want a strong man. And it got me thinking that I remember when I was single, I used to say, you know, when people would say, oh, well, what are you looking for in a man? And I'd say, you know, well, I want, like, a strong man. I want, you know, somebody that I can't run over. I want him to be short of himself and, um... I don't know, I want him to be able to like make me feel safe and hold down the household and all of that. And um, I remember somebody saying, oh, so you want an alpha male? And I just remember thinking like, I mean, I guess. Um, I think we use that term alpha male so often um, to describe like the, you know, ultimate dominant man. And I got to thinking how really the alpha male to me is not, I mean, some women actually do want the quote unquote alpha male. But for people like myself, I think that there's a couple different type of men in this world, okay? So I would classify them as like the alpha male, what I would like to call the grown ass man, which is like who I'm attracted to. And then there's like the fuck boy. Now there's, pro I'm not saying that every man, of course, is, fits in these categories. Probably a combination of a couple and there's probably one that I'm missing out there, but it's funny when we think about alpha male because alpha males, it actually, when we talk about alpha males and we read about it, it actually has more to do with how men associate with other men than it does with how men associate with women, right? So being an alpha male kind of has to do with how they assert themselves and the dominance in the pack um, of other men. So typically you'll see like the stereotypical alpha male will probably play sports, he'll probably be you know, the quarterback on the football team, or, you know, he'll always, you know, he's the guy on the basketball team that gets all of the girls or whatnot. He may be super fast. He may play track. Um, he's kind of like the ladies man type of guy. Um, he appears to get a lot of women and I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, he, you know, he appears very self-assured. He's the first person to jump out there and kind of go for something and um, a lot of these things have to do with how men interact with other men. I've never found and I've never met a quote unquote alpha man or male um, that was manly enough for me. And what I mean by that is, so typically the alpha male, the biggest thing, the alpha male sees himself through the scope of masculinity, right? So everything he sees and how he interacts is, is based around his strength his agility, um, how many women he sleeps with. So he kind of has a warped sense of what masculinity is, right? So if, a lot of times you'll see alpha males in relationships tend to be like the men who don't know how to cook, they don't know how to clean, uh, because they've always associated that with like being female, right? Because again, this male, female, masculine energy. So a lot of times these are those men that if their wives leave, they say, oh, I have to hurry and get back home because I need to feed my husband. Well, honey, that's a grown ass boy. That's not, a, that's not a grown ass man to me that you're dating a boy. Um, so typically they will also be the type that interestingly enough, these alpha males, they usually have these very dominating like women in their life. So they're the type that usually, you know, we st we'll see them the the woman very much kind of runs that relationship uh he how he he buys you know he usually has the girlfriend who demands a lot of materialistic things this works with an alpha male because an alpha man thinks that's just how all women are so ironically he's the type of man who a woman can clap all in his face and and call him out his name and all kind of things in public and again to me that's not that's not a grown ass man. That's a little ass boy. But again, stereotypically, that is what we see when we see the alpha man. Also, when we see the alpha male, like in gatherings of women, sure, he's probably the guy in the club that a lot of women flock to. He's the dude who gets a lot of numbers. 
But to be completely honest, the alpha male's conversation game is really not that strong. And the reason why is because he's never had to depend upon his personality um, to get him through. He's always been able to rely on his strength, sometimes his looks, because not all alpha males look good, um, but his achievements. Uh, he's been patted on his back by coaches, his parents, by women all his life. So usually the alpha male is not the best conversationalist. So ironically enough, he'll be the guy in the club that women swarm to, but the guy that really goes home with a lot of women or, or actually has, you know, a lot of sexual relations with a lot of women is not the alpha male. Alpha male. That's the guy who I would consider um, the grown ass man. Now the grown ass man may be an alpha male and the, these two are not interchangeable. But what I'm saying is, um, is that what we know and what we consider as the alpha male is not really, I think when women say that what the alpha male, what they say and what they want are two different things. So also when it comes to having sex, the alpha male is the type of man because he's very ego driven, right? Because his ego has been stroked his whole life. I found and from experience and talking with other women that these quote unquote alpha males, they're not really the type that you can, you know, have open dialogue about sex. Um, if you're not really feeling satisfied, they take it very personal. You're not able to really share your wants and desires in the bedroom because they think they got it on lock, right? Their whole life, they've been scoring touchdowns and everybody's been stroking their ego. But that dude who, like again, that I call the grown ass man, he's had to put some work in. He's had, he's had to get some time. He, you know, he's had to learn a woman's body. He's had to learn, um, the ability to have a conversation because he couldn't just rely on, you know, he probably wasn't the fastest or the strongest guy. And that's not to say that he was a nerd or a geek. That just is that he isn't quote unquote, the alpha male. Um, now let's talk about the women who are usually attracted to these kind of guys. And again, this isn't bad. If this is, uh, you know, if you truly are attracted to alpha males, then more power to you. I just, I, I just don't think when we say alpha male and then what we think and what the reality is are very much so two different things. Um, so for instance, you'll see the alpha male with a lot of these women who are very neurotic. They're very organized. Um, some of them, sometimes these women take on these men as tasks, like they see men as a task to fix up. And you'll hear a lot of women say, well, I put so many years into that man and he, for him to leave me. And I, I turned him into the man that he, he, he is today. You know, those are usually the type of women that flock to these quote unquote alpha men. They see them as something that they can mold and change. Like a funny story is my husband now is a grown ass man. We split everything 50, 50. We do things 50, 50. So the idea of like a honeydew list. So on the weekend, a lot of women, you know, in these suburban households will make up a list of things called the honeydew list that the husbands have to get done, you know, that weekend. Um, so the men that usually do these honeydew lists, you'll see them, you know, taking out the trash, putting up the Christmas lights because the wife wants those Christmas lights up not a day after Thanksgiving. That's usually the alpha male. Again, supposedly supposed to be the most manly, you know, of the, of the types out there. But you see that a honeydew list and they just jump. Now, my husband is not about to do that. Now, that's not to say he's not about to help with those things or do those things completely, but um, it, it's just a difference. There's a very, it's really ironic that the alpha male tends to be very submissive to his wife in certain things because he views everything through gender roles. So the nagging wife who tells the husband to do X, Y, and Z and get this fixed and all of that. That makes sense to him, right? Because he's the man. And so the st all the stereotypical things that come along with that, he is. And all those stereotypical things that come along with the woman uh, they put up with. Those things are just really interesting to me. Um, and I just wanted to kind of talk about that just because anytime people say, oh, like, I, and when you say, oh, I want really, you know, I want a strong man. I want a man that knows what he wants. I want him to be confident. And people say the alpha male, like, nah, sis. The alpha male really is a grown ass boy. If we're being honest, the alpha male is the guy who keeps reliving his high school experience and always has to tell you about all the girls he got in high school and how many yards he ran and how many hoops he shot, how many three pointers he got, how his coach, you know, always used to dote on him and all of his awards. Again, that's because the alpha male, the way that he defines himself is through those accomplishments. 
So it's just a really interesting way to look at it. Um, some other funny examples I came up with, because as you can tell, the lighting's changed. I'm still at work. But um, some other examples that I thought of too was, so, and don't get this confused, all men play video games, or not all men, but a lot of men play video games or they play sports, but a lot of my girlfriends who have quote-unquote alpha male husbands or boyfriends are serious gamers, so um, a lot of times, you know, they sometimes complain that they're neglectful in their relationship or even to the children, and I'm thinking, well, what did you expect? You pretty much married a full-grown man-boy. Again, this all goes back to this notion of um, this alpha male, which is supposed to be this most desirable male, you know, of, uh, of, of the selection. And here they are. These wives can barely pull their husbands away from a gaming system. It's just like, you know, what did you expect? These are also the same men that... um uh they'll they'll be with women and they'll say oh well they refuse to change diapers or <coughs> they just you know they're not very active with their children because their fathers weren't active with their children they were what i call pat on the head dads which are kind of like they interact with the children you know they bring home they provide but they really don't interact with the children um and again because through their lens of what they see, right, women change diapers, men provide. And so you usually see that dynamic in those relationships and marriages. And it's so interesting to me that that is what we have deemed as society and women as the alpha male, because I just don't see that. Um, uh, I mean, to me, I want a grown ass man. I want a man that... <coughs> And another thing, too, is a lot of people will say that this is just traditional values, but it is possible to be traditional and have traditional values and also have a man who um, shares in rearing the children, um, is not emotionally unavailable, um, is not constantly trying to feed ego through chasing women, because that's another thing, too is that the alpha male is always trying to regain and will always try to regain that part of their life when they were at their peak alpha maleness, right? So in high school or college, and that's a lot of times why you see these men who commit infidelity and they're almost always the ones that are the worst going through a midlife crisis because they've always defined themselves through what they have, what they can get, um, and, and status and whatnot. So that's just my take on it. I just thought that was really interesting. Um, maybe I'll kind of go in and break down the different types of men and kind of um, their traits and whatnot. But that's just kind of my two cents. I'm not saying all men who are quote unquote alpha male um, are this way. And I'm not saying all men who are the opposite are just perfect. I'm just saying that this is a common trait that I see associated with what society traditionally tells us is the alpha male. So it's freezing y'all. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know below and let me know your opinions and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.